sell everything you don't need. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. And yes, we're going to hear from Tim shortly. All the buzz has been about the price of precious metals going down a lot. All right, big percentage point drop uh, last week. And a lot of people are nervous. I don't think you need to be nervous. I think there's uh, rationale, reasons why this happened. So I use it as an opportunity to get over to Tim's, the coin and stamp shop in Manchester, New Hampshire, and talk to Tim. I hadn't seen him for a while. In fact, I know he's been uh, dealing with some medical issues. An update is coming at the end of the video on that. But I did pick up <laughs> an America the Beautiful 5-ounce piece of silver. Now, this is totally not a Yankee stacking uh, st stacking item, triple nine fine silver, five ounces. You know, it's gorgeous. George Washington is my favorite president. And uh, it just looks beautiful. I have to admit, I splurged. This is a silver ice cream cone for Yankee. For you collector stackers out there, you're probably going, well, duh, it's a five ounce piece. Why wouldn't you want it? It's not my primary stacking silver. In fact, I think... Yeah, I only have one other five ounce piece, and it's this dragon round. Look at this thing. Whoa. <laughs> it is go Oh, you can actually see my flag in the reflection. Perfect for, for a uh, Chinese coin, huh? <laughs> that is really cool. You're uh, the dragon. But anyway, I picked this up. I don't know if this is going to remain part of my perma stack, but we'll see. It is kind of cool. And I wanted to buy some silver on this big dip. All right. So you need to watch this video. If you're at all concerned about where silver prices and gold prices are going, if you're concerned about what a new presidential administration, a new Congress is going to mean for the price of precious metals, this is the video to watch. And you're going to want to watch it all the way through. Really. There's a lot of meat on this bone, okay? <laughs> Definitely hit uh, the thumbs up if you enjoy it. Share it with people because they may not get the word that this is a great time to be accumulating precious metals. And Tim is going to help explain why. Price of silver and gold um, down 6%, silver down 6% uh, just today. Actually, I think it went, it broke. It was like $24.50 down 8% at one point today. Yeah, it was a big drop. It was. And a lot of people are asking why, especially after what we know is coming with the new administration, with the new Congress, what we know they've promised and what they wanted to deliver on, and now they have the capability of delivering on it. Why would precious metals go down? I think it's um, positioning, positioning for what's likely to come. And uh, keep in mind that the, the markets are all still hedge funds. You know, it's not individual investors, not people saying, well, I'm going to take my money out of gold and put it into the, the Dow, or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, it's, it's Wall Street positioning. Now, you know, you, getting into their heads is not easy, but hedge funds are thriving more on negativity than they are on positive um, outcomes. And I think that the, um, you know, if you can get the Dow up to where it belongs, you know, in the stratosphere, and then when it comes time to knock it down, it'll go down a lot easier. Um, and that can be true for any individual uh, industries, mm -hmm. like like oil or something like that. Um, but I think that I think they're really positioning down. There's a lot of money that goes through Wall Street every day. Right. I mean, trillions. It's not it's not just you know a billion here and a billion there. It's trillions. Is it? Also, the money printing mindset that it's risk on now, that we've got the backstop, the Fed's going to do whatever, it's going to just keep inflating. Do you think that is the reason why we're seeing the bubble that we are in the markets and why people are saying, I don't need to deal with money, uh, uh, gold and silver anymore? Why would that real money? I'm going to just sell that stuff. I, I want out. It's risk on. Let's go, baby. It's party time. Isn't that, do you think that might be the mentality? All the analysts I've heard talking about this have said that the, um, there's more stimulus coming. Sure. And, you know, there's more spending and there are more, right. more programs, social programs. Mm -hmm. I mean, 
as if it's a good thing. And they know it's not a good thing. They know it's probably the worst possible uh, thing that this, this incoming administration can do is just right. keep giving money away. They're also promising more taxes, more regulations. They are. Wouldn't, isn't this bullish for precious metals? If you're running a large corporation in America right now, and they continue to talk about you know, doubling or raising the corporate tax rate, what would you be doing? Looking for a landing place like, you know, Ireland or the Bermuda, the Cayman mm. Islands, or soon to be Singapore or Shanghai or some other Chinese protectorate mm -hmm. where um, they're going to have no taxes, no taxes at all for corporations. I mean, Chinese aren't stupid. They are, their plan is to take over this country economically. So if, if, if Biden is successful in doubling the corporate tax rate, I guarantee you the tax havens will be in China, somewhere in, in, in the, under their mm -hmm. umbrella. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what this country really needs to fear. People, they, they can't they... go to sleep because, hmm. hey, they're our friends, man. <laughs> but it seems like there is some sleeping going on right now, at least around precious metals. Gold and silver seems to be that redheaded stepchild. The, 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 hey, why would I bother with this? Even though everything seems to be flashing red, we know inflation yeah. is going up. We know the Fed doesn't care one hoot about inflation going up. Yeah. We know that it's going to be, uh, you know, the printing presses are going to go crazy. And we know right now the CPI doesn't necessarily reflect that, but we know it's coming. So why aren't people saying, listen, I need to guard that. I need to protect myself. They don't care. They just don't care. It's a good buying up. <laughs> It is, Very isn't good it? Buying opportunity. Yeah. And its time will come. It's just mm. that the people who control the markets, it's not gold's time. It's not silver's time yet. So what would be your advice to people who are on the sidelines, maybe not so sure, enamored by Bitcoin, looking at all the other stocks that are just ripping up through the stratosphere, Tesla, Amazon. You can't go wrong with those, right? What would you tell them? Uh, I would say number one, Sell everything you don't need. Sell everything you don't need. I don't care if it's old shirts or uh, old sneakers or that, you know, that uh, riding lawnmower that doesn't work anymore mm. or an old snowblower. Sell everything you don't need, okay? Pay down your debt. Pay down the debt to nothing if you can, okay? And take the proceeds, okay? Um, save at least half of it for the metals and the rest of it put in cash. If you're going to buy stocks, yeah. Um, yeah. pick your industries correctly. I would not buy a flyer. Mm. I mean, the, the, the ship has already sailed on those, okay? Um, I certainly wouldn't be buying a virtual currency that has already had its day and looks like they're going to con force, continue to force that up. And the reason, my reasoning on, a, on, pre on the virtual currency is mm -hmm. that... Um, it's controlled. Every country in the world has its eye on Bitcoin. They, they can trace all those IP addresses. They can they can trace every every tax authority can get a hold of whatever you're doing on Bitcoin, um, and probably all the rest of them. Would you say that that if it became a threat, they could regulate it into oblivion? They could stop it. If they, they wanted to, it'll it'll take uh, putting some drug cartels in jail, things like that. Do you, you know, big big spenders on Bitcoin. What do you think about uh, central bank digital currencies? Do you feel, do you see that as being a plus for current crypto, or do you see that as potentially being the end game for yes, crypto? Yes, I was going to say the end of the world. <laughs> end of the world when end it comes to crypto. When we all go on digital currency, the, uh, on the digital currency, we won't care that's about the end of the world. All that money uh, flowing into our digital wallets from the Fed? Will, nobody will care about anything, they, except <sighs> wow. there, there may be a revolution in this country. Oof. Because you'd be not only trying to take the guns and ammo away, <laughs> you'd be trying to take your money away. Mm. And, uh, you know, I would say you definitely want to have a store of cash. Um, I think the metals are probably a safe place to be. Um, but, you, you know, you need to get rid of all the things you don't need. You strike me as a contrarian investor, someone looking for value that people will run away from that's saying, you know, this is the time to well, buy. Long-term value. I mean, I, yeah. I bought into Exxon when it was in the 30s because they, their dividend had dropped to a 12% dividend. Hmm. So if you buy it at that price, mm -hmm. that's a 12% dividend forever. Do you think commodities are a great idea right now? Oil, 
uranium, agricultural stocks? I would stick to the to the um, the, the ones that move markets, the gold mm. and silver. Interesting. And I, you know, I have had a lot of inquiries about palladium and platinum. Yes. Uh, my opinion on palladium is it's controlled by Russia, um, it completely controlled by Russia. Mm. And uh, I think the ship has sailed on palladium. Platinum seems to be really becoming the redheaded stepchild. I'm not <laughs> sure why, but it doesn't show any strength at all. Interesting. And, you know, I'm comfortable with them knocking down gold and silver as long as, I'm, you know, I'm not trying to sell it at those low prices. I'm trying to buy it at those low prices. Like what you're going to try to do for me now? <laughs> Is there something in this vault well, that you have for me? <laughs> you know, what I what I will do if, if I have something to sell, like, you know, like the gold eagles over there, uh, I call my wholesaler and see what he's mm. willing, willing to sell them to me for. And that's what I saw. Wow. Yeah, you do right by your customers. I've always loved... Uh, Promoting you and what you do. Oh, you still have some Yankee stacking stickers underneath there. Yeah, I'm surprised. They, uh, they, I guess they're just not, uh, they're they're not flying, out, flying the out the door now. Uh oh. One last thing that, before I, I stop. Uh, how are you feeling? Because people are asking. They they did last night on my live stream. How I'm you feeling doing? Uh, a lot better. Good. Yeah, Good. and it's, uh, you know, I, you don't have to give me um, two near misses before I wake up. <laughs> I hear that from your daughters. You're uh, too busy. Constantly yeah. they tell me that. Yeah, my so. goal is to get home before 2 o'clock in the morning. Oh, man. you got to stop doing that. Well, you look better now. You definitely have lost weight. You look good. Lost a lot of weight. And a lot of people are going to be happy about hearing yes, and this I, news. You know, and I, as I said, I go around the supermarket and I read labels. <laughs> and I walk out with two or three things. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Tim. I really appreciate it. Well, I'm glad Tim is feeling better, and I hope what you listened to was an encouragement to you. Remember, like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, make sure you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, and as always, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.